My favorite design tool, Kittle, just came out with two new features that completely change how I do my designs. A powerful new pen tool and a very precise note editing tool. Now, whether you're doing creation of designs for laser engraving or maybe even DTF printing, these new tools mean faster workflows, better control, and way more power for doing custom designs. In this video, I want to show you what's new in Kittle and why it might just make you want to give up trying to design in tools like Lightburn. Let's get started. So I've been using Kittle for about two years and it's served me pretty well with all of my customer design work. Now there's been a couple of things that have nagged me uh, uh, about it. There's a few gaping holes for people who, like us who use actual tools to make things. So I had a conversation with Kittle a while ago and I said, look, not everybody who wants to use your tool uh, makes t-shirts. Some of us use lasers and CNCs and we want some extra capabilities specifically around node handling. and. They responded in, very positively, and this past week they released a new version of Kittle, and guess what? It has the node handling uh, capabilities that I asked for, and I want to talk about two of them specifically. There's a bunch of other things in this release that are also interesting to makers, but these two are probably the, the real winners. Now, I know a lot of people use things like Lightburn for their design work, and that's fine if you only have one laser, but if you have a CNC or maybe one of the more modern lasers where uh, they, have, they have capabilities that Lightburn doesn't support, you're probably going to be using software that isn't Lightburn. And that means that if you did your designs in Lightburn, you have a big export import operation and it's a bit problematic. So what Kittle allows me to do and why I would, I would encourage you to look at it is it allows me to centralize all of my designs independent of the tools that I'm using so that I can take a design, export it to a CNC or a laser or any laser really, including lasers that run Lightburn, and it will just work. So I wanna talk about these two features and I'll start with something familiar and work my way towards some of the newer stuff. So I, I just, I have an artboard here. I just created it, it's empty. And I went and searched for, for puppies or dogs and I can take something and just out of their clip art library and I can drop this dog on. Now, that in itself is fine. I could always do something like change the color. Maybe I wanted a dog that was black, but let's say I wanted to, maybe this dog is, I'm doing, uh, I don't know, a, a piece for a customer and this isn't quite the right dog. Maybe this, this owner has a fat dog with pointy ears. So what I can do here is I can double click on this now, which I couldn't do before. And let me zoom in here and you'll see that I can see all of the points and I can actually just grab those and drag them down and I'll make I'll make a good fat dog here uh, because you know if this owner's dog is out of shape and maybe we'll make him even a little fatter here and we want him to have pointy ears so I can go up here and I can just grab one of these points on his ears and I, I can maybe do something like that and now if I wanted to edit more of this I could I could add additional shapes here but I'll show you that when we do the pen so so with node editing I can do that and now I have a fat dog that can jump which is something I wouldn't normally have had if I couldn't do this I would have had to take something out of the out of the library and use that as it is or go out to Google and do an exhaustive search to find something now I can just edit those things and it's pretty simple so I think that's pretty cool but it gets even cooler because I can select the pen tool down here and I could also hit the p key uh, to do that and then I can actually just draw lines and I can I can start with just lines and, and happily connect them. And if I wanna close the shape in, if I move the pen over that first point, you'll see the black dot that appears down below uh, the pen icon and I can click that and now I have a closed shape. So I could actually take that now and if I go back to my pointer, uh, I can change the color of it so instead of black, let's say I want it to be white and maybe I don't even want a border. So let me pick that and I'll just say the border is non-existent. So now I have, I have that, that shape and I could move it around. But more importantly, now that I have it, I can, I can attach it to other things. So 
I had that I had this dog and I showed you that if I double click it I get all the points and I can I can just select both of those and when I do that you'll see the shape builder tools appear and there's there's the 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 weld or the union uh, I can pick one or the other I can I can do the intersection or uh, or exclude pieces so I can do all that. In this case, I'll just union them and you'll see what happens. Now I have a dog with, with you know, maybe a knife sticking out of them, but I'd like to believe it's more of a wing. So I can make it look more wing-like, just, just do something like that. And now I have, I've modified a shape that came out of Kittle's library, but I've added my own things to it. So in, in addition to editing the one that was there, I can just add completely new uh, new pieces to it and extend it. So now I have a dog with wings, a fat belly, and, and pointy ears, and maybe that's what I want for my customer. Uh, so you can do that kind of stuff. Now, notice these lines are all kind of straight. Uh, you can also do, if I bring the pin up here again, if I click and then drag, let's say I, I want to do... Uh, a drag kind of operation, I can actually get curved lines here. And it's just a case of holding down the mouse button while I'm while I'm moving. And I can create pretty much anything. Now if I want a straight, if I want to continue now in a straight line, I can just go back there and click and you'll see the, the black dot appears below the pen again. Um, now I have straight lines again. And if I just click and drag I'll get curved lines uh, again, and I can create just some random shape. I can then go back and edit that if I want. So if I go back to the pointer tool, I can I can go and edit this. And let's say, if I look at this point, say you'll see that there's that there's anchors here, and I can actually change what I laid down there. I can change the curves. I can move the points around. I can do all kinds of things. Very powerful, but it's not quite perfect yet. There's a couple of things that I think they're going to have to continue to work on. So for example, if I paste in an image, this is actually a PNG. So I can take this and I can vectorize it. And uh, I'll say, uh, I think it has six or eight colors in it. That'll, that'll do anyway. And I'll, I'll let it go off and do that. And now if I look in here, there's no opportunity. So if I select this, you can see that, that there's, there's dots here, but what I really need to do to clean this up, if I wanted to use the, the node editing to clean this up, is I need to be able to delete nodes here. And, and once I have it hanging off the end, reattach it to something else. Basically, I'd like to get rid of this whole thing sticking in here. And I can't really do that yet. There's just not a facility for me to disconnect nodes, at least that I can find. So I I, I think there's some some ongoing efforts I think they need to do. This, would, this is a pretty common thing for makers because we want to be able to make sure that images are nice and clean when we engrave them. So So hopefully they can address that over time as well. So why does all this matter? Well, there's a few new values that are opened up here with Kittle that are pretty compelling. The first one is the addition of the node tool and the pen tool mean that I can use existing clip art from Kittle and there's hundreds of pieces there. I can take my existing designs and bring those in, even if they're PNGs, I can vectorize them and then I can modify them however I need to, to make them perfect for whatever customer project I'm working on. I can also use the pen tool if I need to augment, I can design something completely new and union that into the design and make something that didn't exist before. So that means that Kittle becomes my sole design platform. All of my designs are there. I never have to go hunting for them. I don't have to build custom designs for Lightburn, uh, for Lightburn lasers or XCS lasers or V-Carve uh, designs for my CNC. They're all here and when I need them, I can just export them. And that means I can build the same design on multiple platforms with ease. Now there's one other design uh, feature that, that popped in to Kittle here as a result of this recent update and that's sharing. I can actually share a project. So if I'm working on something with a customer in real time, I can show them the design, they can comment on it. I can even let them design and I love that. So 
that's one of the reasons why Kittle has become my design tool. Now, if you want to try this, I'll put a link in the description down below. Uh, it's to try the free version of Kittle and everything I did here, you can you can do there. Uh, and just try this out and see, see if it will do everything you need. And uh, if you want to see more of these kinds of things uh, where I walk through some new feature, uh, be sure to subscribe, click the like button if you got value out of this one. And uh, I can wind down here and say, get out there, make your world, and I'll see you next time.